Hi everyone, it's Karen. Thanks for coming by. I hope you all had a fabulous 4th of July long weekend. Um, we had a lot of fun over here. So today um, I have a project. It is um, a wishing well. And, um, oh, sorry, I'm trying to put glue off my table. Okay, so this is it. I don't know if I can catch it all in there. And this on the side. And the top, and that's basically it. So what I did was painted, I have a bunch of um, the wooden blocks, you know, come in the two tumble tower blocks. And um, so what I do is I take like a bucket, little thing like this, and I pay, I pay them. Um, I paint them white. So I have plenty that are plain and now I have plenty that are white. And, um, you know, just for projects, it's a pain if you have to stop and, and redo all of, you know, stop, go paint, wait for it to dry, all that stuff. So um, what we are going to need, our, our, what we, our, what we need is a bunch of white blocks. Now, when I did these, I did not want them perfectly white. Some, and the ones I really like, are just very light. You know, still white, but just not solid white. Um, and that's it. So let's go over what you need. We need the tumble tower blocks, and you can leave them the natural color. They don't have to be white. You can make it gray, pink, purple. Whatever you think. I just realized I didn't shut my ringer off. Um, so any color that you want, but we need, we'll start at the bottom, work our way up. So for the bottom, we need nine rows of six blocks in each row, except it's gonna be circles. And um, for the side, we are going to need, um, we're going to need, on and two on each side um and then one across the top here on both sides and then the actual roof now this roof turn it i did a row of five all the way across but i think it needs to be six i think it's just a little too skinny if you if that makes any sense at all so i'm going to try it with six today instead of the five and um, dowels, you'll need quarter inch dowels. Um, mostly you need, see, look at all this. I didn't clean all my, uh, I'm telling you, whatever glue I used is horrible. So I'm sticking to the Gorilla Glue Sticks. They are the best and it's, you know, just watch for the Michaels and use them with um, a coupon and you'll be good. So anyway, we have two dowels here. Oops two dowels here and two dowels up here. We also have a dowel with the rope on it that goes through and then a dowel that, oh, I'm sorry, that is just all cut up to look like a little um, turner thingy, uh, cranker thing. Um, what else? I also have here, these are in the wet, oh, that's another thing. Everything here except for the flowers are from Dollar Tree. Um, so the twine that holds the bucket up, everything, just the only thing is the flowers and they are solo wood flowers. And I'm really not going to use anything other than that. Now this, there's, there's, you could just get them at such a great price that, um, you know, they're always on sale from 60 to 80% off. So you just got to keep your eye open and when they are on sale, grab them. Um, the other place besides Solar Wood that sells them is um, Oh So Pretty, I think. But I will um, definitely put that in the descriptions. So, oh, we also need a piece of styrofoam to fit in the little bucket. And this piece comes from <clears throat> a project that is for my next project coming out. This is the part, it's the part of a 
top of the tree styrofoam. We are not making a tree, but we do need this part for um, our wishing well. So I guess we should have been doing the other project first. That would make sense. However, we did not do it that way. And we'll just have to try hard to get things done. So if you um, want to run and get your products and get a tree and cut the top off, you'll be good. We're only putting it right inside here. So if you've got an extra piece of pool noodle, anything like that, and you probably don't need anything. I just did it so that the glue will hold right in the middle. Um, you know, if you just glue it to nothing, then it's gonna fall out. So we need that. So I'm gonna put you down and we are going to um, start building our base. So let's go. All right, well, here we are. And so this is another thing that you can, does not have to be the way I do it. I have, what did I say, three, six, seven going around? One, two, three. I have six um, going around for the actual well. You can do nine, you can do eight, you can do whatever you like. I seem to feel like six is a, is a good number. I just think it's a great size, but you do what you would like to, or for whatever you're thinking of using it for. And all we're gonna do is just start off the base by gluing the corners together. And I'm kind of upset with myself. I've been using this um, mat from, uh, I forget who it's from, Cricut. And the other side is really pretty. And I said, oh, I'm just gonna leave this on my desk in my craft room, <laughs> like I can get in there. Um, but uh, yeah, so it's kind of all glopped with glue and I feel bad for it because it was kind of new. And now I feel I just didn't take care of it properly. So this um, wishing well, I'm making, um, my niece is getting married, which kind of got me, um, oh, let's, do this and then I'll keep talking. <laughs> you know I will. Um, so then these pieces are going to go right <clears throat> in between those pieces. Just that makes sense. Where there's a little V, we're going to put um, another uh, block. So it's just going to give it that extra. And this we can actually put a lot of glue on. I mean, not a lot, but you know what I mean enough. So we're going to just, you really just want to do the two ends that are going to sit here and here is really all we need. And I've been having such a miserable time with my glue sticks. And I don't know what the name is because I usually buy glue sticks by the bunch and then just dump them in a bucket. But whatever one I was using that I'm trying to use up is horrible. And the only thing or place I think I've bought in them, bought in them that I've bought lately um, is Dollar Tree, but people love it. So maybe it's not Dollar Tree, I'm not sure. But I do now will only use Gorilla Glue Sticks because they seem to work on everything and they seem to hold everything great. So that's just my new thing. So my niece is getting married in um, August. And <clears throat> I thought I would, my great aunt Nellie, which I think I've talked about here, when, well, not just her, her and, his, and her <laughs> bunch of sisters um, just can make, something out of absolutely nothing. And it just comes to them and they do it. So back when my sisters and I all got married, Gunner, that's her bone, don't take it. He will wolf down a bone, like, you know, a, not um, rawhide. Apparently that's really bad for them now, but it's like a peanut butter bone and he eats it so fast and then he goes to take it from her and it's just not fair. Um, anyway, when we got married back in the olden days, um, 
my aunts would pull out the wishing well. And so I have had my Aunt Nellie, my Aunt Rita, my Aunt Lucy, um, my Aunt uh, Susie. There's a whole clan of them, all little Italian ladies. So when I was someone's get married, they'd whip out the old wishing well, which they would use at um, shower, you know, our bridal showers, and people would put their gifts inside. I mean, it was a like a a big thing. Like I think it was four feet all the way around, and um, so it was like this. I believe it was Rita's husband that made it, and when my sister was one of the first of the grandchildren to get married oh this is i'm sorry no this one had words on it and i don't know why i guess it's who makes it and there's a phone number keep it separate so we pulled it out and it's this huge it kind of looks just like this but just a lot bigger and <clears throat> so when it came out from my oldest sister, we had to fix it because it was a disaster. It was all covered in cray paper and like three or four layers of it. You had to make petals and then you had to roll the petals over like a round um, pencil. You couldn't use the yellow ones. You had to use those ones that were completely round. And um, so anyway, I've been thinking about them a lot, so I decided I would make a, a wishing well. Um, yeah, so my Aunt Nellie, she was an amazing crafter, and if she would be alive today, she'd be in her own glory with Michael's, like, because if you think about it, those weren't around for, I don't know when they started, but... So, um, yeah, she was a character, and her and her friends would go out to eat, and they loved this restaurant, I forget what it was, but they would get drinks. They were fi very big fans of the drinks. And so, apparently, my aunt, Nellie, didn't think that the drinks were being made um, strong enough and so she'd send it back and they would give her a little more, but it got to be a pain. So then there was the day that the whole crew went there for dinner and ordered their drinks and didn't complain. And then my aunt, now she's probably in her 70s or her 80s at this time, um, would whip open her pocketbook and pull out a bottle of vodka. And she would add it to her drinks. And the bartender came over and said, you can't do that. And she said, well, then make the drink stronger. And he walked away, so they whipped it out again. And I guess it went on a few times and eventually they just had to ask them to leave because, you know, laws on serving and all that. And, and so, they, so they had to get kicked out. Lost my little flow here talking. Hold on. Let's see. So this is a little lesson. When you're talking and you're doing this, just double check every once in a while to make sure you're on target here. See, because it's this over here. I find these from Dollar Tree, they're in with the floral section, are amazing. They just are able to cut things and pop things off kind of like that, but not as bad. And, um, what is that one? So they got kicked out one night. My great aunt, this little, maybe she was four feet tall, if she was lucky, um, got kicked out. <laughs> and her comment as she's walking out the door was, I've been kicked out of better places than this one. And I was like, I mean, you have to just picture this little band of tiny little Italians walking out of a restaurant, talking about being kicked out of other places too. All right, so we are up to six levels. So we're gonna go around three more times. Um, but, oh, how did I get another one with the name on it? Um, what else about Nellie? She just 
amazing, amazing. I mean, I wish my kids had been around, you know, that, that so that they could meet her. I mean, they did meet her, but, you know, towards the end. And, um, yeah, so that's what inspired me to make this today. Well, I made it the other day, but record it today, I decided to do. No, that's not true. I was going to record it yesterday, but I've told you before that I can't tape when someone's here. So my son was over and I couldn't tape because he wouldn't leave and um, I can't tape when people are here. I don't know why. It's like a phobia thing. Someone's listening and wondering what I'm doing or if I go off on a tangent, they are always there to mock me, so... Um, yeah, so that's why I won't. All right, so where are we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two more rows. I am definitely going a little crooked here, so I'm going to try and straighten myself out. But I don't know. Let's see. So this really is quick and easy to make, and... I don't do it, but you can put a bottom on here if you wanted to put something in it. Um, at a wedding, you could put um, little pieces of paper or cardstock and have someone write a wish to the um, the bride and groom um, that they can lead, you know read later on. Um, or what could else? I don't know. You could put pennies in it. I don't know. It's just cute. You can do whatever you want. But it is a cute thing to put out at a wedding. I don't know. That's just probably just, you know, memories of forever ago. And it's just uh, crazy how time flies. Because I feel like my daughter just told us that she was pregnant and she's due in... Where's my little, oh, I lost it. Well, I made a little countdown and I believe there are 17 days left, which is just shocking because it just went by way too fast. I mean, you know, I'm ready for that little Bambino to come. I'm just saying. I felt like my pregnancy lasted forever, but it's coming. We finally have ordered a rug, and with any hope, we'll get it this week. Seven, eight, nine. Oh, we went ten. Went a little overboard. I think ten's too high. I think I'm gonna pull those up. Which does kind of scrape the paint the paint off, but it's fine. Not gonna do anything. Ooh. So what did we do 4th of July? Um, we had dinner with friends that we haven't seen in forever. Now I'm taking off too much. All right, this is not. Um, my mom used to do a family daycare um, out of our home when we were little and we met them, this couple that we went to see, we met them um, I think, hold on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, just double checking. Um, so we met them through there, and then one day my mother said, while they were picking the kids up on a Friday, we're going to eat pizza. Do you want to stay? And they were like, sure. And then they became really close with us. And then um, my husband and I were close with them, and we would babysit and whatnot. But, um, you know, their kids were older, you know, we weren't married yet. And um, and then you kind of lose touch, you know, when there's that much of a difference in um, kids' ages and what they're into and all that fun stuff. So out of the blue, we started talking about them the other day and we decided to, well, I started looking online and I don't know, I should be a, a you know, an FBI agent because I found their cell phone numbers. We know where they live. We just weren't sure they were going to still be the ones living in the house. So anyway, we were able to get in touch and we just, 
spur of the moment, went over there and had some delicious steak dinner. It was great. It really was. All right. So we are going to put two stacked up this way. Nope, this way. And well, I'll tell you in a second. We are supposed to be drilling a hole for the dowel um, on the top here. But I can't get my drill to work. So, and my husband took his, which is what I was using the other day. And um, so we're just gonna glue it, but on my original one, and I do recommend that you do drill it, um, I did use a dowel. But on this one, we will just glue it together. All right, so we got those two. And then we want one straight across like a T on each side. So just glue right here on the top. And then you want it flat to go, you know, the tall way. We don't want it laying down. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. I have so many glue strings hanging around here. Let's see. And my, um, these friends of ours that we went to see when my kids were little, she made these beautiful sailor outfits for them. Um, hers was a little dress with a little bunny to match and um, the boys were little, oh, I'll show you someday, they're so adorable. All right, so next would be the drilling that we're not doing. So we are going to do, um, take a dowel, let's, find a dowel because I know I've got plenty or I did oh found them just hiding under there and since we're going to do a whole nother extra um, row of the um, roof um, maybe we'll do the let's do the roof first just because we're gonna um, do it different than we were going to just to make sure we get it straight so we're going to need um six two sets of six um oh all right so what is going on oh, see it's a, it's the glue thing they're everywhere all right so i did five on that one we are going to do six on this one one two three four five six yes all right so try and just put a little glue to help them just really get together because you know the glue does bubble up and it makes it um so you can't squeeze them together that well and then just keep checking to make sure that um you know you're straight up and down nobody's bulging anywhere just, just you know flat down and oh, see like that I burnt my neck on, on a hairdryer this morning and it really hurt, but it's a place I can't see. But, and I've been trying all day to get one mirror while looking in and it wasn't working. Just a disaster. All right, so this is going to be, let's see, yes, there are two of these on each side. So we're gonna need 12 for each side. But this really goes together really quick. The only thing that I'm doing different is the spray painting because I put all the shingles um, outside in my little tent and um, when I went to spray paint them, they flew away. So I'm gonna wait till it's all put together and either paint it my, by hand or spray paint it. So then we're gonna go straight down the middle and squish them together. See, even all that squishing and we still have little holes. And if it drives you crazy, which sometimes it does drive me crazy, you can use a little wood filler or the little spackler that, spackle that you can get at the Dollar Tree and just shove it in there. Yeah, now we need another 12. Two, um, three, four, 
So I don't know if I told you the um, plumber story or the doggy dentist story. So I won't, and I, I won't tell it again. And I will look, and if I didn't already tell it to you, then I'll tell it to you. All right, so this is another, like this little, I know what it's called, but um, it does help them kind of stay where they should be together, like that. And of course, some of these, like this one's a lot taller than that one. Oh, see, it's kind of crazy. I don't know who cuts these out, but they should get fired. That's just my personal opinion. I don't know. All right, so we are going, oh, I did the wrong one. We're going to do that after. So you want to glue all of the, into a column, and then just glue them together that way, just because it's easier. So I'm ripping the glue off and sticking it together. So I did attempt a few times during the week last week. I know I didn't get a video out last week. My husband was supposed to be on vacation. And then instead of being on vacation, he decided to wait until the baby is born, which I think is not really a good idea. I mean, if you want to take a couple days off, fine. But why would we want to be on vacation with a brand new baby in the house? But that's what we're doing. So I didn't plan to do anything, but then when we weren't doing anything, I was like, I should have done something. You know what I mean? Like, cause then I felt guilty. See, ugh. I'm gonna redo that one, I don't like it. And a lot of these you're gonna try and have it come out straight and it's just gonna be that the dowel, the blocks are two different sizes. And that's all there is to it. So, now we're just going to glue the two together like that. Oh, that's really off. Okay. There we go. All right. So now we got ourselves a roof. Now I'm not sure why I did it or the reasoning or any of those things as to why I put two dowels. I think it was, I was gonna do one just to have somewhere to attach it. But why did I choose two? Was I just trying to be fair and give each of the sides one? I think maybe it was so that, so that I'd have more room this way. I just don't know. I just don't know. But what is going to help us that way is by doing our little tees. So these stringy tees are what go right here. All right. So we are going to get two of those together and they will be mounted here, probably on the outside. But Let's do it this way. We are going to take our dowel. Why isn't this straight? Sorry about that. It must be my head that's crooked. I don't know. So I did want to thank um, anyone that has signed up. In the, well, I want to thank everyone, but anyone that has um subscribed recently to my channel um, because I'm up to like 912 and I'm just over the moon about that. Um, I am just trying to get to a thousand, which I look at other people's and I'm like, and they're in the 10,000s or hunt and I'm afraid that's never going to happen. And I'm okay with it. My, my little T is very crooked here. Um, I'm all right with it, but I just was thinking 1,000 might be good, but that's up to you guys, whatever you want. I can be at the bottom of the barrel for however you want. 
All right, I don't know why this is crooked, but it is. All right, so then we are going to glue our dowels. You better come out further, sorry. All right. This is only the 10th time I tried to glue this little guy. There we go. I think everybody's happy now. So we are going to glue a dowel on either side. Oh, this isn't the right size. So clearly we must cut it to the right size. And I was using, well, I will use it because it does work for dowels, but it does not work for flat things. I think it just can't get the, I don't know what, but it's amazing for um, the round dowels and stuff like that. So we shall measure. And some of them, the dowels are like so easy and then others are really hard. Can't wait till I vacuum up this rug later. Things are being shot all the way across the room. All right, so. There we go. And now we're gonna glue these right to the outside of the tees. Oh, unless you drop it on the floor. I'm still here, okay. So let's glue it on. So oh, here. And here, there we look at that. We are coming right along, everybody. Now we are doing this all real time. The only thing that was done in advance was the spray painting of the blocks. So somehow we will know how long it actually took. Do you see these? They're everywhere. All right, so do you guys know what to do to get rid of those? It's just to take a hairdryer on the hot section thing and um, and just blow them all over the place and you'll be good. I don't know why everything, one of these blocks has got to just be defective. You know what I mean? Can you see that or is it just my myself? I'm not gonna worry about it. Now I gotta tighten it up because I was wiggling it, but all right. Now, these are our little roof we're gonna put on. So it goes this way. And I'm gonna actually put it, oh, I'm like, why isn't that right? Um, I think I'm gonna glue the dowel right to this this middle row right here. Oops, right here across. So on the inside, I'm just gonna put it right there and tilt it in with this. We'll do it all together. And we'll do it like that. Make sense? Should it be I don't think what do you think wider? I do kind of like that now. Let's do it. I'm going to do it like a quarter to a half of an inch above this center line right here. I don't know why I'm choosing that exact number, but it is what it is. And I just can feel it. And you guys can definitely do yours at the same place or wherever you like should have done this at the same time. Oh, I put it the wrong. All right, I'm just gonna squish the glue to where I want. Well, all right, look at that, here we go. Come on. Oh, you know what I should have done was cut my roof dowels at the same time. It's all right. Catch right up to it. But I hope these are mistakes that you would have made, and I happen to be making them for you. Because then it would save you some aggravation. But 
since I mess up all the time, it saves you from messing up. Right? Right. <clears throat> so I don't know if you guys have any grandchildren, but I hear that it is such an amazing, amazing thing. Like I, friends have said even more than having your own kids, that it's just crazy, crazy, this love, which I didn't think anything could be better than when they hand you that baby yourself when you have kids. But apparently I'm hearing that it's different and it's better. And then I hear it's because they go home at the end of the day when they come to visit. But mine lives lives here. So then what does that mean? Do I, I mean, do I get to have the kid all the time or I don't, or I don't know the rules. Cause I think I'm gonna be doing daycare for this wonderful, amazing child. These weren't in the right spot, so I'm just moving them. So they were too close on one side. So I'm just gonna put them so that, <laughs> so that they're more in the middle. So that's about there. So you know, I would have burnt myself if I did it that way. So we're gonna plop this like that. Oh, you can't see. Hold on. I don't think you can see anyway because we're just up too high. Don't worry, I'm gonna fix you. Okay, so this is the wrong one. I've already done that one. There we go. Okay, so we're trying to get this dowel right here in the center and that is not the center. So we want it about there just so that at any angle you can look at it and they they look even. And mine have so much glue on them right now, I think it's gonna camouflage everything. So basically do it across to um, half way across the last, the last square, put this halfway to it. Does that make sense? Because it didn't make sense to me. And I was the one that said it. So I get it if it didn't make sense. All right, now we're gonna glue all this together. Oh, where's that? There we go. Ow. All right, so look at that, guys. It's coming right along. All right. Oh, why is this sticking out now? All right, I'm gonna try and chop it without taking everything apart. No, nope, I'm not gonna use that. I don't think I don't think I can get at it like this. I'm gonna get that. Nope. So if this happens to you, we're gonna leave it for now. But later on, I will take it apart and fix it. So let's, we're gonna add some glue here because he fell off the edge. Here we go. So we are like pretty much almost done. Not really, but with the outer structure, we're almost done. But I do think this would be cute at a wedding and it'll just say, um, wish the bride and groom all happy days from now till the end of time. I don't know if they still do that. The little wish them luck or advice. My daughter gets all of her baby advice from a group of first time mothers on Facebook. And they seem to know everything. I'm not sure where exactly the information comes from, but I'm told they know about everything. Because I said, <laughs> I said, honey, is, is there anything you want to ask me about having a baby and anything? And she said, no, 
why would I ask you? I'm in a group. I said, oh, I forgot about the group of first time moms who must know everything. As first time moms, you know, what do I know? I only had three kids. Had my own daycare in my house after working at my mom's daycare at her house when I was in high school. But, you know, what do I know? I only have three kids. So who knows? All right, so I just reinforced some stuff, but I don't know why this is all crooked and wonky. It doesn't seem to be attached here. Maybe that's part of it. All right, there we go. Now, and I will chop these off. As you can see, they're sticking out. So now we are, now this is the part where I would put the shingles on. And I got these at um, Hobby Lobby. I forget how much they were, but I think they were on sale. They're from the wood shop. So if that stuff is on sale, so are these. And they're in the um, the dollhouse making uh, section. So if you go, that's where they are. All right, so I did go out to my garage where I spray paint things and laid these all out on a box to spray paint them. And when I <laughs> pushed the button, it blew them all over my little tent that I have up there. So I'm going to um, paint them with either chalk paint or acrylic paint. Or now that they're attached, now I could just spray paint the whole thing, which makes more sense. But it didn't make sense earlier when I was blowing them all over the garage. That part was puzzling. All right, here we go. So when you're doing this, and I know I'm on the wrong side, but when you do it, you want it to hang over the, the last bit by like a half of a, half a shingle. Now these are uh, one and a quarter. Well, if you count the little point, they're one and a half. So if you do these with, um, with, how do you, oh, with popsicle sticks, that's how big they are, an inch and a half. Um, and that certainly is a, and you know, if you've got popsicle sticks, absolutely, you can do that. You can either cut the notches like that are here, or you could just cut them straight. I don't think there's a rule. There might be, and nobody told me, but I don't think there's a rule. So here we are, we're just gonna, Build it up to the top. Look at that. So if you are gonna spray paint it, this would, after we get the shingles on, that would be the time you would do it because the bucket and the flowers are not on it yet. So, and I know you can't see me, but I am, and I'll show you in a second just staggering these little pieces of wood so that they look like a like a real shingled house. I'll try and do it from the back. All right, so what I'm doing is putting glue just on the top half, the flap part, and then, let me just see and then I'll do it that way. And then just staggering and you and not staggering by you could do um like this over two i just didn't do that because um i didn't think of it <laughs> but i think especially if you're doing it with popsicle sticks um because they're thick this would be a time that you would use like cheap popsicle sticks if they make such a thing so that they're thinner because I did find it was a little bit easier with the shingles and I think it's just because they were thinner and they didn't bulk it up but 
I know there are cheap wood popsicle sticks out in the world somewhere that you could use. So we will keep on going. And so now I have heard that you guys, whoever you wonderful people are that are watching this, um, do like and don't mind the time if I do it from start to finish without, you know, just saying, oh, I'll do the other half later and show you a picture of it. Because first of all, I don't do that. I never go back and show you a picture, mainly because I don't know how, would I just go on video and show you it? That just seems a little strange and people might be like, what is she talking about? All right, last section, what I did was, all right, you know what? You're right, let's finish the other side first. So, I'll just stick these guys on. Try and make sure that they're about the same distance hanging on as the other side, because that's helpful also. There we go. So let's see, the baby's room is done, all except for the rug, which, um, oh, rug shopping. For such a tiny little room, they're so expensive. And you want it like a nice, soft rug. Not that they'll be playing on it while they're a newborn, but, you know, in case you want to lay them on the floor while you get something or because I don't know if you've noticed, but a lot of times while I'm crafting, I forget things and I have to go and get them. I mean, I don't think it's ever happened to me that I recall, but it just, um, the softness to me makes a difference. So, I mean, I think we had a limit on what we were gonna spend, but limits, you know, they're kind of made to be broken in the first place. I mean, it just seems like it. Or if you ever heard, you could say, um, I use um, a limit in what I actually pay synonymous with each other. And then I guess you get away with saying that because I don't know, she just irritates me. And it feels like it's never gonna be stop being talked about. I'm talking about the Johnny Depp defamation cat, um, trial <clears throat> that just seems to um, keep going. And if I were on the jury, I would have given him, you know, all 50 mil because, no, I might take a little off just for the fact that um, he did, that was very, sad to see the verbal abuse on both sides. I mean, not just him, but definitely to hear him say he still loves her at the end after losing a finger and whatnot. That's a bit much. I'm not sure I'm that forgiving of a person. So, Johnny, good for you. Okay, now I still have, um, glue strands hanging from my wrist, which I will take off. Does anybody have a really good glue that they use in their glue gun that does not have so many strings? Because I don't know. I just don't know because these are in my, um, my Gorilla Glue bag, but maybe I shoved some in there that weren't Gorilla Glue. I don't know because they're very stringy. It drives me insane. I don't know about you guys, but it does drive me insane. All right, so now we are up to the top and we want to, I don't want to do this because we're going to put um, a thing over the top and yeah, we want to go right up to the top. And if it's not the right length, which this seems to be okay, then um, 
if it's not, you can cut off the top and then just put it up there. But I do like where we're hitting now. So we're gonna leave it and I'm just gonna glue that half and go right up to the top of the roof before you hit the dowels, if that makes sense. And then we're just gonna go right across. Everybody having fun yet? It's a fun day over here. Oh, my husband bought me for my birthday, which yes, it's in November, but planning ahead. Um, he bought me one of those hanging swinging chairs. So it's outside and I got a new book and that's where I'm headed after this, right to that chair. And it holds both my little dogs. They fit perfect. So we're good. I can't, oh, we're a little crooked here. We're a lot crooked here. Can you guys see this? Like, look at that row, how crooked it is. Oh my gosh, I should be fired. Fired actually doesn't look. Let me see if it would be still looking crazy if I put a straight row on. Um, we might be able to save it. I think we could do it. We can fix it. Don't worry. All right. So here we are. And we are going to do this row. And I think we're going to put another row on. But we're going to check and see. Just so that we can cover up the top row where it ends with this top shingle. Which... I hope that makes sense. It will when I show it to you. Because I, I don't know if you are, but I am a visual learner. You can show me all the directions in the world, but show me a picture and I'm great. Yeah, this is, whole side seems to have drifted down. <laughs> well, yours won't do that and that's what's important. Just make sure yours is straight, unlike mine. Okay, so this is where we are. What's a crooked side? This is where we are, and now I am gonna take a half, I don't know if the counter little thing that's on the top of my screen is on your screen, but um, so yeah, so we're gonna cut half of this in half. Nope, we're going to take this hole and cut it in half. Lord, I'm not making sense to myself. So basically, I'm going to cut this in half. And then we are going to put it right next to the top. Just so that it looks like um, another shingle should be there. It would look funny if it wasn't there. Look at this glue. I really need someone to tell me what kind of glue they use. If um, if their glue is nice and it doesn't leave a, I mean, there's gotta be something wrong with it. I've been gluing, sticking my whole life. I've never had a problem. But now all of a sudden it's a mess. All right, here we go. This one's crooked too. We're just going to pop it right up there. These really are fun to make. They're kind of quick if you're not talking and trying to show and making crooked things. It really is an easy little craft. I was with my parents the other day and was in my dad's workshop. He used to work on, with wood and we were in a drum corps, so he was in charge of fixing whatever instrument was needing to be fixed. And um, and I saw plans for a dollhouse that he was going to make for me and my four sisters that never got made. And now, as a as a mom, I totally get it. You want to give them everything, but <laughs> you just don't have time. So. If one of my kids wants a wishing well, they have one to choose from. I got two now. You know, I'm here. I'm a giver. I'm here for them. You just come to me. If my new grandson wants a wishing well, if he wants to fill it with frogs, whatever he wants, he can have it. 
but it is my job to spoil him. Unfortunately, we spoiled our children first also, and that was a mistake. But now we can spoil this child as much as we want. And that's just too bad for my daughter, looks like, near as I can tell. But here we go. All right, we're all set there. Now for the rooftop, which is kind of a giant mess right now. We are going to take our shakles and we're gonna go like the notched side out or if you're doing it with just regular popsicle sticks and then go in another one on each side and then take one and cut the little notches off and that goes in the center. Make sense? Let's glue it on and it will make more sense to you. All right, so we're gonna stick that there. And we are gonna stick this. Whoa, burning my finger. We're gonna stick this over. Oops, wrong way. Stick that there. Oh, look, things are coming. And then we are going to put this here, just following the line. Straighten everybody out. And then we're going to take another one again. Oh, turn you around. Again, we're going to put it, I just got to see for a second. Okay, so there we are. We got two and two. And now we're going to cut off the little notch side and we're going to glue it right in the middle. Again, got to just check it. Yep. Right in the middle. Isn't that cute? Things are just coming right along. Except for these string things, I'd be a little happier. All right. Look at that, guys. Now, I also um, would have a handy dandy wood filler and would if like these little pieces that I can see the dowel um I would fill that in because it would drive me crazy all right so we are needing another dowel and this is going to be for the bucket which would be drilled but can't get the drill to work but I would do it in the top right here and I do it right in the middle. So I'm just gonna cut it for now about here. Oh, where's my other guy? But these are these little miter uh, scissors, I guess. Miter, let's call them miter scissors. Um, this is my second pair, but only because my son and I were trying to, um, <laughs> we were trying to change the blade and yeah, we were both standing up in the middle of the garage. Oh no, near the stairs of the garage, which then left that little piece that popped up to fly all around the, the garage and we lost it. So I bought a new one thinking that if I buy a new one, the other piece will show up, but as of yet, it hasn't. All right, so I am gonna glue in my dowel, and it's hard to see, but I will show you. And it's gonna go right in the middle of the top uh, block, because these are blocks. All right, so we're gonna lay it down. And we're gonna put it right here. And as soon as it sticks, I will show you. Hopefully it'll stay straight. But like I said, I would definitely drill the hole 
and it's a quarter inch drill bit you need, um, I would definitely do that. All right, so while that's drying, let us work on our little pot that's gonna carry our flowers. And just clean up my little mess that I've got going on here. And keep your broken ones because they're just a great size for, you know, when you cut off a little piece. I just save it all. I'm a saver, as you can tell by my craft room if you've seen it. All right, now we got to just vacuum up. See, now this is another case where I had my little We Are Memory Keeper duster thing, and um, I lost it, so I bought this, and now it's, I found it. So it's just like crazy, but I do love this and my Memory Keeper one when I can find it. But it just takes all that dust. It doesn't unglue this mess here. I have to do some work, but it does help. All right, so what were we doing? Oh, the bucket. With the thing from our next project. So even though it's backwards, when we do it next week, we will save the top of our tree. All right, now we are using solar wood flowers, and these are them. And did I use these same ones? Um, let's see. Nope, these are different. These have more green than these ones did. Oh, can you see them? They are different, trust me. Just trust me. They're actually even a different color a little bit. All right, so you know what I did? And I think I'm just realizing it. Oh, I'm so dumb. Look at what, what I, I'm gonna say we did, but I did it. Instead of adding an extra bit for the roof, I added an extra one in the length and I needed to add it in the width. Lord have, I mean, I still love the way it is, but that is not what I intended to do, which explains why the dowels are cut where they're cut. Because if you look at it, if I popped this dowel and its little friend, that if I put them side by side, that would carry one more block. So if you like it skinny like that, you're good. If you're me, I think I might, I might just fiddle with it. We'll see, you know, we don't have to do it if we don't want to. All right, so we are going to clip a few of these off. There we go. Now, let's just take one off and deal with that. All right, now let's cut this off. So what we're gonna do basically is just um, trying, we're just trying to get it to stick in the styrofoam and then we can move it and do whatever we want with it. This seems a bit long. So we're just gonna hack those, <laughs> that shot all the way across the room. All right, so we're going to do this one in the middle. Might be a little tall. All right, and then we're going to cut. Here's my little, you know what? This little thing from the Dollar Tree, it really is awesome. It just, I mean, I think it cut better than that thing did. All right, let's see. Put a little glue on there. I'm going to stick it right on the side. Now, the other thing since I'm noticing it right now. We want to make sure that the handle is in the upright position so that, you know, when we go to hang it, we're not shoving flowers down each side to make it even or whatever. And you can also, if you wish, um, put some Spanish moss in here. Um, I didn't have a problem hiding the green 
But if you do, Spanish moss is a great thing. Extra leaves that you have somewhere, just slam them right in because they look pretty no matter what. And when you are cutting it and it doesn't have a stem, that's when it's a good place to just glue it right to the styrofoam, like this. All right. Now, oh, it's oh so lovely. Did I say that right? That's the name. I told you it would come to me. Um, that is the name of the solar wood flower the other places and the oh so lovely place is the one that has the pretty fillers like the you know these and leaves and stuff i've never really liked or come across what i liked at um the solar wood flowers they're um fillers and they're just not good they're fabulous for the flower, but you can get everything at Oh So Lovely. But sometimes one has a sale and the other one doesn't and stuff like that. So you just have to check around. And I've seen people that um, are selling them, you know, leftovers from a wedding or whatever. That's something you can look in the groups in your area. That would be a good place to find some. All right, now, I guess I, if I stop here, I would, and I will, put Spanish moss in there. But, let's see how much of a disaster this is going to be. All right, well, that's not bad. So, I'm going to be ripping it apart, so I'm not going to do it. But you would just take the twine, pop that in the bottom, uh, take your twine, and wrap it around your dowel before you stick it in the hole. And then, let's see, where's another dowel? Okay, so you're going to take this and you'll have your bucket and you'll throw that across. But what you want to do is take your twine and just get a little glue on it. Push your flowers, let it stick. Pull this out while we wind this up and then just wind it up so that it looks you know like it's been sent down and you pulled it back up just like that and you can do it as thick as you want and once you have it where you want it you want enough so that you can um well first you gotta glue this last part so that everything stays together like oh, i was going to sing a song from mr rogers and then you're going to go right to the middle and then you're going to tie yourself a knot i know you can't see this but it's just a regular knot probably just tie it twice you don't want to lose this bucket down that hole. But this is a cute gift for someone that's sick, sick, because you're wishing them well, get it? All right, so then this is where you would um, drill the hole and have that coming up. Or if you like it up higher, you can put it there or you can wind up your, your uh, twine. All right, so the other thing that you can do that I did on here is once I spray painted it white, I then took um, a Dollar Tree little stencil brush like this. Where are you? There you are. And then dip it in. I used... What did I use? I use Waverly Elephant Chalk paint. There we are. And I just put it on a styrofoam plate, dipped it in, got most of it off, and then just started um, where it's all ribbed. It, it just showed a lot of um, 
wear and tear, you know what I mean? It's not gonna be a solid white pretty just sitting there. So there we go. We're just gonna spray paint this, drill our hole in the top on both sides, and then we're gonna take it and we're gonna push it through and stick our bucket right in. Another thing that you can do that, let me put this one over here, is if you, I don't know if any of you have ever used uh, Flower Soft. Um, it's, it's like, what it reminds me of is when I made the summer flip-flop sign, um, as I was cutting that up, it made it all like granulated and, and it, that's almost exactly like flower soft. It's just like, it's like, um, yeah, it's like if you sawed up some soft foam, I don't know what it actually is, but you could take little bits of that because it's just like crumbs and you could put little um, dots of glue and sprinkle it because of course it's not going to be sitting somewhere without any kind of um, vegetation if it's in the woods or out in the yard. So you could do this and glue on some of that. You could also take, I believe this is an olive branch bush you can add some greens to it. It could have traveled up the top. You don't know because it's in the middle of the forest and you shouldn't go there alone, I'm sure. And then you could take some of these leaves um, and I do know what they are and it is not coming to me. But these might be a little big actually. So you want small and then just kind of put them in, in little, you know, right where the pieces stick out. And um, that's going to look cool, you know, in my opinion. Um, oh, you know what we didn't do because we didn't glue it through. When you glue your dowel through, let's see this way, um, you need to leave a little bit of um, it hanging out so that you can then cut it. It's hard to do this backwards. So that you can, so that you have this, it's not going to work, but um, to turn it, like just that little extra, you know, effect. But that is it, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, our next project, without that falling, it's sinking. Our next project, um, I don't know if I should show, it's technically not done. I mean, it isn't done but I have two of them started. So we got these two. So if you want to make it along with me next week, um, that would be fun, wouldn't it? Maybe we could do a live for me and <laughs> one person who might, you know, do it with me. We are going to make a lighthouse. So let's just bring it down again. So this is the first one that I made. Let me put you up. Whoa. Oh, I gotta get up for this one. Okay, I think this will be good. Okay, so this is the first one I did and I made um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sides, which I'm not sure if that's what houses have. If they have eight sides, then I'm perfect. Then we will add this little guy that I got at Michael's and it's like a dollar. Then I got the plastic little lantern um, and it goes on the little, pla oh, here it is. It comes with a little light and then this is the top. But, oh my gosh, I hate that. I need to get, I need to get a camera crew is what I need. So it just was too bulky. It was too big. It didn't give enough room. So I took some wood from Dollar Tree or um, Hobby Lobby. And, you know, it comes in the package, just this skinny wood. So I cut out two layers of wood. And then I cut dowels to do all this. But we'll go over that next week. And then I did keep the cap for the top. 
And um, then because we need to turn the light on and off at different times, I'm not going to glue the hat at the top. It does kind of look like a hat. Um, I'm not going to glue it down. I might tack it so that it sits straight. Um, but that's with the eight sides. And then I did this one today. Haven't painted it yet. 